Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. You already know who it is. Welcome back to Charlene Marie Lifestyle. So today we're going to just be doing some home stuff. I want to get into the habit, the habit of vlogging more like my day-to-day -day activities. So I just came back from a meeting. I had to run to the grocery store and do a pickup order. And I wanted to show you guys like what I got from the store. Spring is here and I have my cute bag. This is my coach, um, what is it called? It's some type of rendition of a older coach, like a turn lock bag. But this bag reminds me so much of the original coach of when I fell in love with them a long time ago. And I'm just wearing my Gucci glasses. These are actual sunglasses, but I just had the lens changed out to a transitional. So it's lighter when I'm inside, gets dark outside, but they're not prescription. They're just a regular sunglass, by the way. Enough about clothes, what I have on. Let's get to the kitchen so you guys can see what I purchased. I am planning for this quarter to really work on just you being able to see some of my day-to-day -day activities because I do love home decor, I do love fashion, but I am just an all-around lifestyle um, blogger, YouTuber, you know, you know. So I just really want to become a little bit more personable. And so what did we do? We went grocery shopping, y'all. I went to pick up an order from one of my favorite stores that I like to shop at in Michigan, and it's called Kroger. I really do like Kroger, and it's another store called Westbourne. Outside of Kroger, Westbourne is actually my second favorite store. So I'm going to show you some things that I picked up, and so you can see basically how I eat from, you know, day to day. So just keep watching. One second, y'all. One second. The struggle. Okay. So, I bought some wild caught sockeye salmon. And it comes like two in a pack. But here it is. Then I bought some uh, Atlantic salmon. I like the taste of both. I do know that the sockeye salmon is better for you, but I do enjoy the taste of both. So I'm gonna pop these in a freezer. So I didn't just purchase these, um, but FYI, we're having these tonight for dinner. These are the organic simple truth the organic simple truth ribeye steaks I don't know which way is the right way I can't see with the glare but anyway you get it we're having ribeye steaks for dinner two of those out they had these on sale so I bought four bags because you get them like um, a good discount if you buy four so I bought four of these this is like my guilty pleasure the Lay's lightly salted chips I no longer eat the regular salted ones because I was finding myself getting a headache and so I don't eat a lot of prepackaged things I do love the Lay's but I was getting a headache so um, my nutritionist told me to switch over to the lightly salted and eventually work my way down to only using the or eating the non salted lays. I'm not there yet, but I do enjoy the taste of the salted lays, the lightly salted lays. Gotta have something, y'all. Gotta have something. I don't even know why they gave me this. So, anyway, I got red leaf lettuce. And I have this for my salads. I usually have um, pretty much a salad a day. And so we will be having a salad today. So I got, I uh, purchased two of these. And then I also have, um, which is the red leaf lettuce. 
but then I also purchased the baby romaine lettuce I've been enjoying the seed cucumber I have not been purchasing the seedless cucumbers lately so oh, what else did I buy I bought six broccoli crowns and we're gonna make that for dinner tonight I bought four yellow squash and then I also purchased zucchini and I think that was it that was all of the items that I purchased from the store today I actually forgot to get some mushrooms because I do like to have like mushrooms mashed potatoes um, so I'll have to go back to the store later this week but I really uh, enjoy shopping at Kroger I also like I said before sh like shopping at Westbourne but those are my two main stores that I personally shop I'm not on any type of diet but I do have a strict pretty much eating pattern I do indulge in some things I want probably once a week once a week we normally eat out but regularly my regular meals are a lot of vegetables it's all cooked food I don't normally eat anything that's prepackaged I um, normally just keep it simple salmon mashed potatoes or even if I have a taste for french fries I'll make you know a salad I'll cut up a red skin potato and put it in the air fryer it's a whole separate vlog of why I eat the way I eat I don't even have um, a lot of sauces like if I have ketchup I'll make some ketchup I'll steam mash the tomatoes add the sugar vinegar spices I don't do it often because I just don't feel like it so if I do make french fries I'll just normally eat the french fries regular or I'll dip them in a little apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar if you guys have never tried that try it um but that's pretty much how I eat regularly um but like I said I do want to start becoming more intentional when it comes to vlogging and just really recording my day to day um sometimes I'm like oh it, it'll just take too much I have I'm not going to say I feel like it will take too much time. It's just sometimes I'm not in the mind frame to do it. But I just have to remember, just do it. The same advice that I give, I have to, to receive, just do it. I really enjoy vlogging. I really enjoy recording. The only part that's really difficult for me and YouTube is just the editing. Ah, the editing, it just gets me every time is very time consuming once I start a video like editing I can't really stop until I finish it's like I go full throttle but sometimes it's just the overall process is just getting started when you're doing so many other things I work full time and I have other obligations so sometimes editing can be daunting for me it's not the recording the recording is it's fun um when I first started YouTube I used to be like like a little nervous in front of the camera and then I would just say things and it's like that's not even the way I talk like I would mispronounce a word it's like I could be talking to somebody right in front of me have a full conversation not stumble over one word start recording every other word is mispronounced that bothered me then I got to the point where I said I know who I am I know how I speak if it's a mistake if it can be corrected I will if not I'm keeping it in there I'm human so it's just I want to I am me let's 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 not get it twisted <laughs> let's not get any of it twisted you have definitely seen me but I want to reveal more of me I would say just my day to day because a lot of times it's like home decor fashion makeup beauty I do love all of those things but I want you to spend more time just with me as an individual 
and so um it's going to be a sunny week this week hopefully i can get more recording done because i want to start at least recording a little bit of every day um i don't know if that's going to be possible but even if it's just 10 minutes and just to compile some things so you can just know how i feel day to day almost like a diary if that makes sense it's like popping in and you know just letting you guys know maybe what i've done that day how i'm feeling that day because <clears throat> You may not follow me on Instagram, but I normally do a lot of inspirational quotes, life quotes, and I actually write them and I get a lot of great feedback. And it's interesting because people are like, wow, you know, I never knew that about you or, you know, that was so inspirational. So I'm like, wow. So other people need to know that if they're having a good day a bad day a long day you're not alone you're you're not see see that's what I, you're not alone you're not alone see oh child but anyway i'm just planning to don't hold me to it but hold me to it if you don't see more of me Drop something in the comments. Be like, girl, where y'all at? I do appreciate the love. My channel is growing. You guys have really been supporting me. I really, really appreciate that. Um, even when I haven't posted for a total of like three months, I still was, I was getting numerous of subscribers. I was posting shorts, but I really, really wasn't in a space just to really do um, actual content. And I really believe it was due to the weather. It was like we here in Detroit, Michigan, I promise you, it was just like days and days and days of no sun. I felt like I lived in Alaska. <laughs> like what? It was just so depressing for me personally. I am a solar person. The older I get, the more mature I get, I become more solar. And I promise you, it was like I was not in a recording mood. It's like I woke up today like, hello, son. How are you? Oh, you have a long day, but make sure you record as well. <laughs> so I was like, you know, I want to um, put that out there too. Even if you're not a YouTuber, even if you're just a person with a regular nine to five if you're a night worker whatever your schedule is even if you currently are looking for employment give yourself time to understand how you are and it's nothing wrong with how you are everybody's different and so if you're a person that's solar you're solar if you're a person that loves the winter i have um, a few people that i know that love the winter love that for them you know, I'm definitely a spring, summer, fall individual. Winter is just not my jam. Um, when I was younger, it didn't necessarily bother me. Now it works my nerve. It really does. But I just wanted to put that spiel in there because I just wanted to explain to you why I haven't been recording. Long story short, I have not been in the mental space to record. I was tired. I was exhausted just from running my different platforms, editing, recording. It's a lot. And like I said before, I do have a full-time job. And two, I want to produce quality content. It's not that I always have to have something elaborate going on in my life because I want to just do day-to-day -day stuff because I'm really just a straight homebody. And that's who I am. That's just me. But next year, around the winter time, I'm going to put an action plan in place. What that action plan is going to be, I don't know. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, Stay tuned. So let me know in the comments or if you follow me on Instagram, DM me. Let me know things that you would like to see. Um... I know that one of my friends want me to do a planner video. I do love doing planners. I have a um, LV planner and agenda. 
I do like to put stickers and decorate and write my time like my whole life out in there I really am an organized person so let me know if you guys are interested in a can and uh what do you call that a planner video I, I, I feel like I have to do it because my friend wants me to and I really really want to because that's part of who I am but I'm just interested to get your feedback on that as well so what else are we going to do today I need to clean up the kitchen but I want to start getting the broccoli and stuff on and I can just clean as I go kind of like thing normally I clean up first and then I cook but seeing that I have some things that need to boil um, such as the potatoes and things of that nature I'm gonna put that on so y'all let me get out of my clothes and we can do this we about to do this all right y'all I have changed my clothes I'm comfortable if you're ever in your local nursery and you see this plant get it low light a lot of light as long as it's indirect it's very easy to take care of easy to maintain supposed to water like all of my plants i have like literally like 30 of them i haven't watered anything but like six there's nothing dripping so i'm just going to take this and place this beauty back in its place what my dog every time i'm moving around he's up thinking that everything is supposed to be about him you just had a treat. I'm going to start off by using these, um, what do you call it? Petite gold potatoes. Stuck this pot in a dishwasher and never ran a dishwasher. But it's not that many dishes in a dishwasher, I don't believe. Y'all, these little potatoes is having such a hard time coming out of this pack. Just a little one thing. Let me switch here. Yeah, I got to excuse my counter. Clean it up as I go. Like I said before, I normally don't clean as I go, but such is life. All right. So I have um, a pot that holds says four liters. That's one thing I like about this pot. This pot has like a, like a measuring thing on the inside. It holds about four liters, and at any rate. Um, I'm going to fill this maybe about two inches, two inches over the potatoes. My vent vents outside, so it's imperative that I have it on. I wish it was more quiet, but I have it on low right now, so hopefully it's not too much of an annoyance. Y'all, I have a habit of smelling my meat. <laughs> Alright, so we have my two ribeye steaks here. I just have some olive oil. And I'm just drizzling, not olive oil, um, avocado oil. Drizzling avocado oil here, as you can see. And I'm using avocado oil. And I have it on, I have the steak on aluminum foil because I'm going to place them in on my indoor grill. And I just noticed that it just does better, retains more moisture when the juices are not falling to the bottom. So I'm just putting, putting a little bit of my favorite seasoning on there. Okay. There we go. My favorite seasoning. This is just onion powder. It's organic onion powder.
This is organic garlic powder. I already put the potatoes on. Darn it. Not good. Somebody asked me, is it hard to keep my white kitchen clean? The answer is no. It's actually fairly easy to keep this kitchen clean. Now I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. And salt. And I'm going to add a little bit of, I think it's, I can't, I'm going to add a little bit, I think it's pronounced Wooshire sauce. Ooh, might not be pronounced that. I'm going to add one other ingredient. I'm going to show you in one second. Parsley, I love parsley. Don't start your stuff. I just asked you if you wanted to go out and said no. Those are the steaks. I'm going to allow them to marinate. I do love ribeye because I love the fat content, the marbling, and the flavorfulness of these particular cuts of meat. And y'all, we love broccoli. We love vegetables. All right. So I have the broccoli all washed clean and this is how it looks in the pot. And I know you like girl. I know how broccoli look in the pot, right? But I wanted to show that I try not to layer the broccoli. I want it to be as closest to the bottom of the pot as possible. And I have like this, let me see, this much water. I don't have a lot of water in there. Reason being is because I kind of like to like pan sear it steam it i just think that the flavors pop a whole lot better that way so i didn't put anything in it yet so i'm just adding some onion garlic you're gonna always see this And then I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on that as well. Oh, a little salt, pepper, and then I'm going to put a little olive oil on there. what I'm going to be cooking the steak in this is the ninja I don't know what it's the ninja I'm going to be cooking the steak in this on the grill function it's so bomb I keep it sitting on top of the, of the stove when I know when I know I'm going to use it because it's pretty heavy not going to even try to fake it and it was an investment great investment and I like to keep it here because they these things vent outside and so any smells go right like up and out so that's why I keep it there but over on this side so <clears throat> here's the broccoli it's done I steamed it once again put a little water in this big old pot put it on high once the water has almost evaporated because you're only using a little I take the lid and put it halfway on, halfway off, so the majority of the steam and water can continue to evaporate. And let me show you the end result of the broccoli. You know what? I don't use that one. Let's see what we use. Use this one. It's still intact, but it's soft. 
definitely soft and it's flavorful very flavorful I'm trying to eat one but let me sit it there so it can cool off I can turn that off for now now that's one thing you guys that I really like about um cooking these types of meals I'll still have leftover veggies for them tomorrow and potatoes and so whatever I cook I'll make sure I incorporate that so um we can eat the rest of it y'all yeah, I'm telling you this broccoli y'all yeah, I'm telling y'all this broccoli bomb mm -mm -mm. okay Taking the thing off, I don't want it to stain anymore at all. So good. So I have my masher thingy, my potato masher. Y'all see that? One hand motion. I keep the skin on. There's no reason to remove it. I'm sure some type of vitamins that we intake. Let me leave the skin on, but I just leave the skin on just because. This is my salt thingy. I think I showed it in a previous video, but my pink Himalayan sea salt is in here. White pepper. <laughs> I also like white pepper. What do you call that? Oat milk. Y'all, I'm going to make some oat milk. I saw this uh, recipe, I think on Instagram. Or some, I think it was Instagram. I'm going to make some. less extra con condiments as possible <laughs> just because my body can be like girl what are you doing what are you doing y'all all that time I thought I was recording and I was not I just finished making the potatoes put fresh chives on there a little bit more pepper and you know I added my butter a little bit of the oat milk and that was pretty much that all right y'all I'm tired um my camera died I was like you know what fortunately I had a backup battery and so we got through the broccoli the potatoes we were able to um season the steak now we're going to move on to the croutons um we're gonna move on to the croutons so i have some leftover brioche bread um actually they're brioche like rolls they're uh sub rolls but any type of bread you have you can actually make croutons from them i'm going to show you how so we're going and two we're going to be using my le Creuset, um a uh, non-stick just everyday pan and I've talked about this in a video before um, I can't remember which one but if I recall it, if I recall it I will link it but you should go and watch it because I talk about kitchen must-haves so this is how I mash down the actual um, fresh garlic cloves and you'll see because we're going to cook this together even though this is frozen and that's another thing if you have bread before it goes bad just pop it in the freezer this is exactly what i did and now i am using it to create us some um what do you call those croutons now 
Now that's one thing about me just changing the way I've eaten. Just, it's not like I did like a dramatic change. The biggest change that I've made has been incorporating, you know, eating at least 10 vegetables a day, 10 servings, which is five cups of vegetables because a half a cup is considered to be a serving. Upping my water intake and this has been going on for the last couple years. So that's the change. And more so fresh produce. The only thing that I, I really don't eat croutons a whole lot, but incorporating just everything being fresh. It's not like I ate bad before, but it's just like ruffles potato chips. No, <laughs> you know. I love ice cream very sparingly that type thing so that's that so we got these cut up into cubes and so just watch me work So I'm making a uh, fresh uh, garlic, well not making it but sauteing it. It's basically sauteed. I'm getting ready to add the bread in here in a few seconds. Well actually I can add it in there now. To me the fresh garlic. Yeah, it's the, wait a minute, it's the drama for me. How about my, my SD card thingy talking about is full. I do have another one, but I need to empty the card. I must have forgotten, but not a biggie. At this time, I'm just showing you. I just drizzled. If it's a little shaky, y'all, bear with me. I'm just sauteing the croutons and some olive oil getting that fresh garlic in there. I cannot believe my SD card is full. All right, y'all, I just added some, um, what do you call that? Onion powder and salt pepper onto the croutons look how easy that is we're almost done the steak once I finish it I'll definitely insert a picture but I know it seemed like a lot of steps but it really wasn't this is how easy it is to make things um, in a more healthier alternative if you're looking to make like some minor adjustments so the oil kind of like evaporates from the bread alright you guys just like that Two times are done. Literally. Literally is a five minute process. And we got croutons. So now I'm gonna just pack these inside of a little container. You'll see in a second. Croutons done. Let me get one. Very good soft with a little crunch you can actually control um how soft or hard they are okay yeah you know my camera went dead so here's our broccoli mash and our salads all right these are how the steaks this is how the steaks are looking
all right you guys so here is the finished product i have my salad at the table my steak and it's so tender and juicy and um my broccoli i'm tired ready to eat and i will see you guys later i really hope you enjoyed this video once again thank you for your love and support see you later bye